Good afternoon. I'm Brent Wilsey, and today we're talking about the numbers behind the World Series. I know a lot of you are watching the World Series. And I'm Chase Wilsey. I mean, did you even watch the game last night? Why'd you have to ask me that? I didn't watch <laughs> it, but we're talking about it today. That's okay. <laughs> Neither did I. I mean, who do you got winning this year? I, Chicago. No doubt Chicago's going to win. I mean, uh, that's interesting. I'm going to go with Cleveland. I mean, really? Their fans have been through so much, and I think they're riding one after the uh, Cows won last year. <laughs> uh, what do you guys think? Do you think Cleveland's going to win, or do you think uh, Chicago's going to take this one? Love to hear from you. I know i got a lot of Chicago fans, so I know my Chicago fans are going to say, yes, Chicago's going to be there. So. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Well, let's talk about the uh, numbers behind the World Series, because, again, we're, we're investment people. We've got some great numbers here. They combined 174 years of these two teams without a World Series. It's incredible. Yeah, they're the two worst in the majors, so at least one of those streaks will be broken by the end of this uh, series. The series, yeah. And, and what I really liked here, too, was they, and we look at the numbers and so forth, the total payroll. We said Chicago was $116.26 million. Cleveland coming in the winner paying less at $83.75 million. Yeah, that's quite astonishing. And you have the numbers per win, I believe. If I, I actually do. I mean, it's actually for uh, Chicago, it's $1.13 million per win. And for Cleveland, it's a hit, a 891000 not even a million dollars for Cleveland. And I, I want to say that's the lowest in the majors because they, they didn't have a very high payroll. And that's what we like to see. Talk about, we always talk about value investing. Mm -hmm. Well, I think the Cleveland owners did a great job finding a lot of great value players out there to build a solid team. You, you know, I was going to say, you know who I want to know how much it is per win? New York Yankees. I think it's probably like two million. Yeah, maybe. I mean, there, there, there's <laughs> probably <laughs> some bad stats on that. But I, I want to jump back to this too. Uh, sure. Chicago is actually the longest. They didn't win since 1908. That was their last championship, and uh, it's pretty crazy. There's been 18 U.S. presidents since that time. Two U.S. World Wars. Wow. Um, get this. This is funny. There's been four new states added during that time frame. Alaska, Arizona, New Mexico, and uh, Hawaii, oh, yeah. and also one of my favorites too, going back to 1908, that's when the Model T Ford came out, and you could buy it for $850. And also too, back then for the Chicago uh, team, uh, a ticket to the World Series was $1.66. You can still get a ticket now, but they're $6,600, so a little bit more expensive <laughs> than they were A little more expensive. Uh, <laughs> talking about how other companies can benefit mm -hmm. from this though, Fox actually has the rights to the World Series. How they make their money? That's through ads. And for the World Series, at 30 second commercial break, $545,000. Thought this was interesting. Compared to the Super Bowl, $5 million for a 30 second ad. So if you're a company, you could buy seven ads for all of the games for the price less than the Super Bowl one time ad. But here's a problem. What well, if the game doesn't go seven games? Then who loses out is Fox because Fox will get $50 million per game after the fourth game. So it's done in four or five games. You're going to lose 100 to $150 million in revenue. Big pullback there. Yeah, huge opportunity cost. Yeah. Uh, another thing we wanted to take a look at was the 2015 championship ring was $23,700. Get this, the average price of the engagement ring men are buying, 5978 I think I think men need to Pick up their well, spending, right? About right, it. women. My, girl, my, my girl, <laughs> girlfriend's gonna hate this, but so I, I think a thousand dollars is enough for the men, and maybe five thousand for the women. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> hey, the, the or the World Series champs, they're getting rings worth about twenty-four thousand. I think the wow. ladies deserve much more. Yeah, I'm just trying to get kudos over here. I know <laughs> you are. <laughs> yeah, you got the ladies that, like, and you, me, like, oh, that cheap guy. <laughs> Anyways, let's talk about uh, some numbers here for you. Let's look at Tiffany and Company that does the trophies and so forth for the World Series. And by the way, I was in Boston, got uh, my picture taken with a World Series trophy. Pretty impressive, that was. Very happy with that. But Tiffany and Company, uh, current price seventy-three dollars and forty cents. Uh, the high eighty-four nineteen. The low fifty-six ninety-nine. We see a big spike here back in what two thousand fourteen. Now down here, maybe this is a good time to invest in Tiffany's. Let's take a look at some numbers. Uh, now the commissioner's trophy is fifteen thousand dollars. Is the cost of it? Yeah, or not the cost of the, the value. I guess we're putting. Yeah, it. it's the cost of the trophy. Kind of funny if you scrap down all the metal, uh, the gold and silver it takes to make the trophy. The value of that's about seventy six hundred dollars. So a nice little premium 
when you combine that metal to create the trophy. Well, unfortunately, sales are definitely not doing so well, down 5.3%. However, they're, they're squeezing out some earnings there up 2.7%, so that's pretty good looking there. Yeah, I'm wondering if that's because of the cost of those metals has maybe come down a little bit. Oh, definitely that's something point. you want to understand. A balance sheet, though, it, it looks really good. It's current ratio of 4.98. A little concerned here. It's still a strength, though. Quick ratio, which excludes inventory, 1.65. Reason I say it's still a strength, that's a ton of liquidity. Reason I say it's a little bit of a concern, this large discrepancy tells me there's a lot of inventory on the balance sheet. Would want to understand why there's so much inventory there. Those well, are the price of the jewelry is why jewelries are expensive. So that is, yeah. yeah, that's true. So yeah. I mean if they might not have that many that much quantity on there, but the price of that quantity is very high. So increases the inventory value. And also too, as an investor, you should look at the inventory turnover rate to make sure they're not getting stuck with that inventory. So things yeah. you can pull out for these numbers, very important. Very important as an investor, but the balance sheet continues to look strong as debt to equity is just 37.51%. So that's a big positive there, very, very clean balance sheet. Okay, and then, I was gonna say, going out to uh, uh, January 2018 on a fiscal year, we see the earnings per share is uh, $3.93. Not too bad, but the target price really not giving a good buy here, is it? Yeah, sixty four eighty five below that current price, I believe that was. So, I mean, good company, like like the rings and you know the commissioner's mm -hmm. trophy and everything. But again, don't overpay for those earnings. Yeah, that's a that's a problem there. So, alrighty. Well, thank you for joining us today for our smart investing briefing. And did you miss today's video live? Tap on the follow button below to opt in for notifications the next time we are live.